Um, uh, Tom, yes. uh, the temperature that is coming out of the World Cup, uh, I think uh, in Kenya we have uh, felt uh, a reprieve after uh, FIFA really lift uh, the suspension on the Kenyan football. Yeah. Uh, 2026 looks good for Kenya to qualify? I think uh, well, people say don't um, cry over spilt milk, but uh, really this was a good opportunity for what would have been a good opportunity for Kenya. Kenyan referees, I mean, we had some of the amazing referees who would have been in, uh, officiating in this competition, but um, well, it is what it is. So we have to focus. Uh, and, and see, 2026 is also not a given. We don't know whether we'll get another ban in between <laughs> before we get there. So uh, I only hope we have good lessons We've learned some good lessons from uh, the suspension we've served for a year, uh, for a full year, I think, or some, something like that. I only think uh, if we can pick up lessons, vital lessons that uh, we've, 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 we've got from this suspension, it can help us spur our football to the next level. A group of a group calling itself. Um, uh, Kenyan Premier League uh, club CEOs were all over, were running here and there asking for a, a restart of the game. I only hope they've put together some financial plans for their players, for their clubs, as the league starts. Because, whoa, mm -hmm. and all of us want the league to start. All of us want football to start. So I hope these guys calling themselves the league uh, CEOs, I hope they put something together. Other than just addressing uh, press conferences from here and there, asking for leagues to start. Sports CS about Babu Namamba says he has uh, good plans. That's uh, nice. Probably good plans that we'll see Kenya qualified uh, for the World Cup for the first time. Let's uh, listen to Ababu. All those issues are an integral part of this new dawn at this ministry. And as I've said, there's a new sheriff in town with a new style of doing things. But today, let us just say thank you, God. <laughs> for saving Kenya from this close shave. I can tell you it was a very close shave. Uh, Arocho, do you see some hope uh, in uh, CS Ababu? Mimi kidogo nashida. Nashida na vile tunavopanga mipangilio yetu. Kwa mfano, angalia timu ya taifa ya ujerumani. Baada wao kucheza katika euro na kutokucheza vizuri, iliwachukua miaka 12 ndio waweze kutoa kombe la ulimwengu na waliweza kufanya mikakati mashinani sio kwa midomo um, hii yetu 2026 ni ndoto kwa sababu kandanda uh, like i said earlier it is not an event it, it, four years it, four, a, four years it, is enough no 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 if it took germans 12 years okay as much as why am i saying so you want for example the players that um, you expecting to play in the World Cup should be around 18 now, yeah. 18, 19, mm -hmm. so that by the time we are going for the World Cup, they are around 22, 23. 23. Mm -hmm. If you did not plan uh, their, their, their development, then mm -hmm. what do you expect? We need to go and pick uh, kids who are six years old now. Mm -hmm. We cannot talk about 2026. <laughs> let's go plan, let's go back machinani and make sure that we have an universal kind of uh, system that uh, we bring up. For example, look at the for for example, look at the coaches that we have in the Premier League. We have about four coaches who are KNVB who are trained. They talk about the Dutch system and the Dutch philosophy. We have uh, coaches who are trained in Germany. Basically, we need to have our own system. If we adopt the German system, let's adopt it from the grassroots. The the 2000 and uh, so coaches that uh, the FKF uh, trained. How did we train them? And how do we give them opportunities also to exploit or try to put what they've, 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 they've learned into practice? Na kuambia tena kurudia tena. Mjerumani ili mchukua miaka kuminambini. Baada ya euro, the disappointment they had at home, you remember? I think it was in 96 or something. Yeah. They played disastrous at home. That's where Gotze came. That's where Mesut Ozil came. 12 years of planning, picking players uh, before even they're 10 years old. Having a system, putting them together for 12 years, then you'll get results. Becky, Becky Kidogo, uh, Renard Fabish alikuja Kenya mwaka wa 
Unajua tunazungumza mikakati ya Rocho amezungumza mikakati ya kutafuta talanta ambazo kwamba zitaungwa pamoja ziwekwe pamoja e, ikifika labda takriban miaka na miwili tuweze kuona mafao. Juzi waziri wa michezo Ababu na Mwamba amesema kwamba kwa takriban kipindi cha wiki mbili zijazo atazundua mfumo wa moja kwa moja mtandao ambao unajulikana kama talanta hela. Nafikiri aliweka hiyo parawanja. Akisema kwamba ni mfumo ambao kwamba utakuwa mchezaji yote mwenye talanta katika janibu ya Kenya ama katika upande wote wa Kenya atakuwa ni mwenye mwenye kwamba atakuwa mspodi pale unampiga video alafu kisha anaupload moja kwa moja kile portal ambapo kwamba basi kocha yote kuzungumza kina Kimanzi kuzungumza kina Gusti mule makocha ambao kwamba wetajika nchini watakuwa wanampiga msasa na kumremba waone kwamba huyu ametosha mboga ndio aweze kumweka katika akademia hiyo ni mikakati ya rocho ambapo kwamba tunaizungumzia na waziri alikuwa shaura na nakumbuka mahojiano yake na Waiga Mwaura hivi majuzi katika runinga hii ya Citizen alitaja eh, akisema ya kwamba ruaza yake ni mwaka 2030 ya Harambe Stars kuweza kucheza katika kombe la ulimwengu. Eh alisema namna hiyo ni kama kama, kama, kama sijakosea mwaka 2030 ndio anawaza yes. kombe la ulimwengu. Right. Kwa hiyo ukiangalia hicho ni kipindi cha miaka kumi ambacho Arocho na anasema kana inakubaliana naye kwa asilimia kadhaa. Miaka 8 eh, miaka nane ndio ambacho kwamba si si, si, si vibaya. Ukiweka ile mikakati ambayo kwamba tayari ashaichora akisema kwamba tayari atakuwa na zundua ule mfumo wa kutafuta talanta. Arocho amezungumzia talanta. Hizi ndizo talanta ambazo kwamba tutafuta. Sasa hivi Michael Ogada Ulunga ambaye anapiga soka lake kule Qatar ako katika hali ya mpito. Sasa hivi miaka yake kama alivyosema ni kwamba ukipiga katika miaka ambayo ni mitano inakuja apige mawazo ya kuweza kucheza katika kombe la dunia labda umri umri kwa umekonga. Eh na unajua umri katika mchezo wa soka ni swala ambalo kwamba huwa la kupigia mahesabu. Kwa hiyo ile talanta ambayo kwamba itapatikana Embu ile talanta ambayo kwamba itapatikana Mombasa ile talanta ambayo kwamba itapatikana Garissa, Turkana itaumbujwa, itafinyangwa, itawekwa pamoja. Kwa hiyo ni kwamba itakapogonga mwaka 2010 na mwaka labda 2030 ruwaza ambayo waziri anazungumzia atakuwa ameteketea, atakuwa katika hali nzuri. Kumeka katika uwanja, kwa nini tusiende kombe la dunia endapo tutaka tunaweka miwazo eh, ambayo tulikuwa tunakita mawazo na tuweze kufanyia kazi? You agree we have started well Zita. We don't have uh, a technical bench. We don't have a Harambe Stars coach. Uh -huh. uh, are we okay? Do you agree with uh, what CS Ababu is uh, doing? Yeah, we are okay on the we are now playing paper. So for me it's okay because now we have to recruit people who knows what they want to do. See le mambo yenye tutakuja kuambia wewe chukua huyu, chukua huyu, fanya hivi, fanya hivi. I think we have started in a plain paper and it's a very nice one as I, as he has said Ababu said up to 2030 and that is where we are starting. We are starting from ground zero. Baby steps mtoto akizaliwa aki anapelekwa hivi pole pole. So mtoto wako kwa tumbo bado hajazaliwa. Akizaliwa ndio sasa karatasi itaanza kuandikwa tutataka mtu fulani, tushataka mtu fulani. So for now I'm happy with starting from ground zero whereby if anyone anataka kuletwa I know we will have the, maybe the vetting of the coaches and everything. I am happy. We are happy Tom but uh, tabia uh, same old uh, behavior in football. Uh, you saw the match Uh, Tasca uh, beating FC Leopards by one goal. Yeah. Uh, Tasca won, but on the other side, uh, FC Leopards uh, tried to uh, win on the other side. Uh, if I talk, I'm in big trouble. <laughs> <laughs> But, <laughs> just talk, you're free. You're free. <laughs> But hang on, uh, I, th I think there's one thing you guys are forgetting. 2040, 2020, 2026. We have 42 teams in the World Cup. It's, a, it's an expanded World Cup. Mm. Uh, I mean, 10, this, 10 extra teams, yeah? Who says we cannot be part of the 10 extra teams? So definitely it would mean we have uh, one or two extra slots as uh, African continent. So, I mean, we qualified for the, the Cup of Nations that was in Egypt because it was expanded. So who tells you we cannot qualify for this? Uh, that can be our shortcut to it. But hang on. Uh, we train coaches, we train players, we have academies here and there. There is one big gap that we never train. That is the football administrators. Mm -hmm. We train coaches, we train uh, players. Where, who do they play for? They have some club administrators. Today I can easily own four clubs. I know a guy in Western Kenya who owns <laughs> two or three clubs now. Does he know how to <laughs> administer them? How does he run these Winning. clubs? Or is it just about owning clubs? <laughs> so we have, there's one thing that we've not done. 
training club administration. We have not trained club administration. But one big thing, I, I think I hold a totally different uh, view uh, in this country. Get government out of sport for us to move. But they are the biggest uh, sponsors. You cannot. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I, I love this response. I love this response. You cannot. One of the biggest sporting nations in the world, actually the most successful sporting nation in the world, does not have a ministry of sports. That's the, what are the, that's the USA. I, 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 I don't have a ministry of sports. I Get the government. Something on that. Uh, it, it's, it's OK to tell me. Uh, no, I, I have done uh, some small sorts. I'm a, f a, foot a football fan, mm. local football fan. I think I've attended some of many matches in this country. I not just attending. I worked in football for a long time. The biggest key to uh, to, to to getting some sport success, sporting success, mm. get government out of sport. Who came up with this notion that it's the government's uh, responsibility to build stadiums? And we are busy here. The Jenga stadium for what? Can I? Brazil has can World Cup uh, stadiums for 2014. Can I South Africa, uh, legacy year 2010 is uh, Nini. Those stadiums are not Nini. Can I do a Tom? Arojo, 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 Kido. We are in Africa. <laughs> and uh, Africa, even our economy. Um, you know, football is big business. Mm. Uh, for you to support football, you must have some amount. Yes. And in Africa, because of the kind of environment we are in, the government is the single largest stakeholder mm -hmm. of sports in this um, part yes. of the world. He's talking about uh, South Africa. It's a different kind of economy. Totally different. USA when different you go to USA economy. and come to Kenya, you realize that we're in two different worlds. The government must come in. I like what he said that uh, administrators must be Train. uh, trained. That mm -hmm. one is right. But taking government out of this, we are going to be in problems. But there's something you talked, uh, there's someone you talked about here. Reinhard Fabish. We've been yes. talking about Fabish. Like Fabish did wonders in Kenya. What did Fabish do? He drew against the mighty super no. eagles. What did Fabish do in, the, in terms of winning trophies? Or, you mm. know, okay, you soccer see, is about winning. Okay, Correct. Kenya, I think, about I think you are, the one who talked, you are the one who talked about the journey. And I believe the journey is not about winning. Uh, just trace how Belgium have built on their team. They have won nothing, but at some point mm. they were ranked number one by FIFA. I think the journey we are talking about, that is the journey we are talking about. Fabish came to Kenya, mm -hmm. went to each and every high school, mm -hmm. spotted talent. I think, uh, I, I, th I think you remember, we did not sustain it. <laughs> we did not sustain it. And that is what we are talking <laughs> about. <laughs> nafikiri, nafikiri ndio kesi ambayo tunawangelelea uh, Beki kwa mba, Kuna. Turudi mashinani, yes. na Fabish alienda mashinani, kantona nani alimujua. Unajua kuna, kuna, kuna. Baresi odhiambo nani alimujua. Tu, tu, Tuongelele ili suwala, nafikiri Arocho anapenda mahali kumetulia. <laughs> kumetulia, <laughs> anaweka, 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 anatupa jiwe. Unajua. Mime na suwali, ukisha maliza kuongea, ongea kuwanza. <laughs> Unajua, katika ili suwala, nafikiri Arocho anafuzungumza alifanya. Lakini Fabish alifanya, nafikiri mwajawa pia lama kocha mbagopa na wafanisi katika taifa la Kenya. Wezi mtuwa, wezi mtuwa Fabish. Alifo sema, ndiyo, mikakati mbagopa lukwa na suwala. Yes. <laughs> wale ambao kwamba walichukua ile atamu kile kijiti ndio useme kwamba kidogo hapo ndio kidogo tulipoteza lakini nataka nitoke kwa Fabish nikuje kwa sala la ukocha uh, kumekuwa na eh, niseme mwendelezo duni wa kuajiri makocha na kuwafurusha maana hiyo ukiangalia pia katika timu yetu taifa tumekuwa na msururu mkubwa sana ukijaribu kuhesabu makocha 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 na kupatia mfano wa Lucise licha ya kwamba sasa hivi nafikiri ndege iko kwa running way anarudi kwao Senegali walitolewa katika mashindano lakini ameshinda kombe la bara Afrika amefuzusha timu kuweza kucheza katika kombe ambalo kwamba ni la eh, kombe ambalo kwamba bila shaka ni la, ni la dunia kwa hiyo walimpatia nafasi maendeleo Alusi soko angalia walimvumilia akasema kwamba ndio huyu ni kocha wetu lakini wacha tumpatie nafasi waka tra, eh waka trust the process si sitaki kujua kwamba either ni mzao ama si mzao lakini cha muhimu mm. ni to trust the process tumpatie kocha angalau nafasi ya kuweza kujenga talanta kuna kitu fulani kocha anaweza kuwa amekuja nimemchukua Rocho nimemchukua Tumbwana nimemchukua Shitera na Zita umeelewa 
kuna idea ambayo kama nataka ku develop kwa hii team alafu kocha mwingine amekuja sasa yale mawazo yangu kidogo yanakuwa si I think Tom Nikki, I, think, I think I think Fabish kocha. planted the seed mm. we did not water we did not uh, cultivate mm. nafikiri that is where the problem is because look at what he did i'm telling you mm. uh, arocho he went for the young blood and i think we are paying for fabish blood to kimuliza why are you replacing the likes of uh, kina motego uh, the likes of uh, kina samuel molo mm. you remember yes uh, yeah yes. yeah uh, do you think do you think uh, we, we fail to sustain uh, where we start well uh, look at what kimanzi did uh, after two three matches we are on our way to qualifying for afcon uh, we Sucks. cut off the tree mm. uh, tom what is the right thing that we really need to do we have the talent we have the coaches uh, as you talked about uh, administrators that is where the problem lies but what does uh, ababu has to do because even as he comes in we should understand that the interference should not be that big as you say thank you you've asked me a question you've already answered it <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's like uh, i mean who fired uh, kimanzi the administration administration Thank you. That's the answer, me. So training I, administrators. We trained coaches, we've trained players, but we've not equipped administrators with how the the, the, the technical knowledge of how to administer the game. Now, so, but, 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 so, okay. here's the thing. Here's the thing. I, I will not run away from what Arusha said. What did Fabish do? Mm. Are with me? I'm with you on this. What did he do? <laughs> Football, like any sport, is about winning. He's mentioned that Lucise. Sise won the Cup of Nations. Yes. He qualified his team to the World Cup. What did Fabish do? I, and I'll give, an I'll, I'll give an example. I'll give an example. I'll give an example. I'll, I'll give an example of this. <laughs> Okay, let I've the lady been, I've talk. I'm asking to, to speak about this. Mm. As you've said, we want to start from zero. Starting from zero, we've said about the administration. Where does the problem come from? It comes from the, the people who are managing, even the teams. Even Let's not talk about the, the Harambe stars. Let's start about the, our teams here. Mm. Let's talk about, uh, I don't want to mention teams, but let's talk about <laughs> team that has management on their on their own yeah. first of all where does it where, place gani meandikwa whereby every someone who was a player can automatically become a team manager who maybe he doesn't have, have knowledge on how to do it to manage even teams yeah. you know yeah. there's there's a lot of things that are happening as much as you're attacking the administration we start from here there are people you can get a, a very nice team they are doing very well and then the 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 office mm. the one that is doing the team is not, doing that everything is not performing you can't call me like a coach you give me a lineup of 11 players mimi nataka wacheze wewe ni coach umekuwa na coach na players hapa na players hapo huyu player hezi cheza so let's start from there tuachane na story ya yani, or any kiufupi ni kwamba tamaa tamaa ya mauzo yes, hili ndilo jambo ambalo kama tulitaje tamaa ya mauzo shitera kola spend a spend yes shitera wewe uko na wewe uko na wachezaji ambao kwamba unajua wakipenya europe kuna mgao fulani ambao kwamba utakuwa unapata na njia moja ambao kwamba wachezaji ambao kwamba wataonekana ni kupitia kwa wachezaji katika timu yes, na ndio sita nazungumza wachezaji umekuwa nao kwa kambi unajiandaa kuweza kucheza mechi fulani unakuta kwamba kocha ameamua kwamba mimi hii ndio facility yangu lakini mwisho wa kwisha alivyosema alivyosema uh, usimamizi unakuja na kuambia kwamba kuna wachezaji wawili wa tatu ambao kwamba nataka wakue kwa fast level yes. hapo unaua tuoni administrator kiongezea kidogo yes. 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 tu yes. tukimalizia tukimalizia <laughs> KPL KPL imekuwa kambini sasa ni mechi zake za za tatu za tatu, yeah. tatu ndio eh, labda tu, tu, tuongelele eh, matokeo <coughs> let's, <coughs> let, let, let's let's look at the results and Mombasa yeye anatupeleka Mombasa i know utaanza na jo utaanza Mombasa kisiwani <laughs> manake manake ba, bandari waliweza ku bari lichafuka bari lichafuka ilichafuka dhidi ya KCB <laughs> unajua tarocho KCB tunapoenda pwani kando na kwenda kuogelea <laughs> na kupata ile maandhari kule Mombasa <laughs> Sisi tunajua alama zetu ni tatu. Na nakumbuka katika Facebook nilipokuwa bado ni kodoa. Mm. Nikaeleza watu niliona tuwaja Mombasa kuchukua alama tatu. Mimi kwangu sio ni la ajabu. Kumfunga bandari ni kama kumeza mate kwa KCB. <laughs> e, naona mnashangaa <laughs> ni ukweli wa mambo. Unajua nikimakubeba li... KCB is a big team. Eh? What have they won? Unajua. What have they won? I'll ask you the same question. What did Fabish do? Oja, what, oja, does oja, oja, <laughs> <laughs> what does KCB won? What does KCB won? What does KCB won? Nilipatie muda jamani. Haya usijeleze. Nilipatie ni muda. Hii timu yangu ya KCB ni baadhi ya timu ambazo zinashtua. 
Oh, kushtua sawa. Two seasons ago. Kushtua kila mtu ashtua. Kuna ukame wa kuna ukame ukame wa mataji. Homeboy walishtua. Ah, kushtua. Kuna ukame wa mataji. Kila mtu ashtue basi na uhakikishia kwamba msimu huu. Si ni mimi niko na nyinyi katika kikao hichi. Msimu huu tunapenda kombe la ligi ya Kenya. Okay. Na kumalizia kuna jambo nilikuwa naongezea pale kuhusu usimamizi na nini. Mtakuwaje timu ya taifa mna kocha kwa miezi tatu. Mm. Unajua kuna vitu vingine tunafanya ambavyo hata yule sitata kumtaja shetani. Lakini yule jamaa ambaye ni mbaya zaidi. Mm. Anaposhuka anaonekana yeye anakuwa ni mzuri zaidi. Anafue. Sababu wewe utamtajaje kocha wa timu ya taifa miezi tatu? Ushasikia wapi ule mwenguni? Alafu mnaniambia hapa kwamba tunaenda kombe la ulimwengu. Mm. Haiwezekani bwana. Tom uh, Gormaya FC Leopards uh, do you think uh, they can challenge Arochos KCB ah, what do you mean challenge Arochos KCB FC, FC. what's KCB Gormaya. what have they done yes. FC, what have they won FC, so it's a, it's a it's a question supposed to be can KCB challenge Gormaya really how can Gormaya come to Gormaya, put down to the level Gormaya of Gormaya shitera Gormaya wananjaa last season ya last season Ma, lakini wananjaa ya pesa pia Eh wananjaa pesa ndio wananjaa mataji 19 titles boss 19 like... titles our, our obligation as a club is to win football titles mm. sio kwenda kushtua sio kushtua na makombe pale unajua kitu ambacho kimepatia pia gurumai ya nguvu ni uh, kusitishwa kwa msimu ambao kombo ulipita ambao uliendeshwa na uh, kiataka komiti kwa hiyo uh, nafikiri rocho ni mapema sana kutanua mabawa Eh, Kweli. Ligi, ligi bado, ligi bado ni alama za Mombasa zile za kawaida. Mm. Eh, eh. Gormaia nitamfunga. Mhm. Mm eh, aitwa nani? FC Leopards kawaida. Wanamvinyo. Ah. Wanamvinyo wana unilemea. <laughs> Mimi unajua sipendi kudanganya. Mm. Nyinyi fungeni timu nataka. <laughs> the title knows its home. <laughs> the title we are here to win title not, not small club. Thank you, thank you so much and that has been our title uh, on Sporty Monday. I uh, will see you again next week uh, same place, same time I hope, same crew. My name yeah. is Steve Shitera. <laughs> Asante. Yeah.